The thoughts, views, and opinions expressed by this podcast as well as its hosts are for entertainment purposes only. I repeat, it is not serious. It is not real. No one is exposing, revealing, indicting, or telling you anything about themselves. Also, we do not encourage you to try this at home. We are trained professionals who do not have your best interest at heart or our own. <laughs> Enjoy the show. Yo, you shot I was. Yourself. I know niggas ain't want to. I ain't think people wanted to talk about that on the pod. I don't really I want to talk about that. Ain't nothing to talk about. I want to talk about that. I want to talk about the things that you and Mel both put in the group chat. They both funny to me. Oh. Mm-hmm. I want to talk about Logic's new Bone Thugs cover. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I didn't hear this yet. Me either. What song? Uh, I don't remember. It's none of the big, big, big ones. Oh. You come up with first of the month. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too for some reason. <laughs> they had to tore him up. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. Well, what, Cam, what Cam said? No, so Cam Cam Newton uh, basically kind of shot at a couple of the quarterbacks saying that um, he's kind of tight that all of these quote unquote randoms keep getting jobs. And so Shannon Sharp told him, like, yo, dog, you was the man in 2015. Mm-hmm. That shit was a long, long time ago. You kind of shitting on niggas calling them randoms that work hard to be here. Right. You ain't been nice in a minute. Mm. Yeah, last That's couple times true. we've seen Cam, he has not looked like yeah. a Cam that you would be rushing out to go get, particularly. He always had a strong arm. He never was the most accurate quarterback. True. So now once your arm strength dies down. And he was also the dual threat, which was. Could run and take off. Yeah. So he was him for a minute, but. Well, I watched the uh, combine. Uh, uh, yeah, okay. The most recent one. Yeah. Them big ass niggas is running like a four yeah. two four, 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 four three. So, so I mean, four, four, Cam, you go get out there if you yeah, want. Yeah, it's a different time, buddy. <laughs> they will kill you out there. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that's why they kind of got to make the rules you like that. You will be the Yo, football version be... of Apollo Creed. That, <laughs> that <laughs> turban, that top hat will just be hanging. <laughs> It'll be a sad day. <laughs> no, that ass. And Cam is our dude. That's my dude. Uh, love, love Cam. Cam. I love Cam. Uh, I think he. I think he's a Hall of Famer. I do. Maybe. Wrong. Well, maybe. Borderline. Yeah, he's borderline. Maybe. I think Cam' career stats are better than a couple of niggas that's over there. But we. Never I agree with that. Right now. I, I completely um, agree with this one. Who's random? They got a job though as a quarterback. I don't know who he, he named. Nobody, but he better not. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm assuming that's... he's talking about. He don't. He don't have a job. So if you're looking at it from his aspect, it's like yo, I'm better than some of these jokers that have jobs. Are okay. you? Like who? Bro, I don't feel like putting nobody out there or disrespecting nobody. Well, you're not saying you're not doing it. He didn't name nobody. You bro. can make an assumption as to who he's talking he about. Cam though. Newton think he's better than Jimmy Garoppolo. He was smart to not name some, a lot of them today, and I ain't trying to take a shot. Cam Newton bro. don't think he's better than Jimmy Garoppolo today. today. Not today. I'm talking about today. No, no. he. He's I hope he don't. Derek Carr, no, no, not today. Zach Wilson, <laughs> no, nah, I'm not. nah, he bugging. Come on, Joe. I don't, I don't think he's better than Zach Wilson today. I think that you would be more inclined to sign or keep Zach Wilson because there may be more you, upside. If Zach yeah. Wilson goes out and plays his best game right now, and Cam Newton goes out and plays his best game right now, Zach Wilson has the better It'll game. It probably look similar. And no you know, way, Zach Wilson can throw the ball. No, Zach Wilson can throw the ball. He can throw the ball. Is all yeah. I'm saying. He had some bright spots last year. That's it. He did. Who it's are the com- who are the comps for current Cam Newton? Good is point. all I'm asking. That's a good point. Ba- ba- Baker. Mac Jones? No. no, no. Mac Jones I'm trying to think. That's who what I'm saying. I'm about? just throwing shit point. out there. I'm going to the second tier quarterbacks Third. now. Third we ain't talking about Tua, Jalen, none of them. No. no. Herbert? No. no, no. I got Cam probably with Johnny Manziel in them right now. The XFL money. I mean, yeah. From what we've seen. Yeah. Respectfully, yeah. yeah I, I'm not. Usually we disagree. I, I'm, I'm rocking with you on the sports. It hurts. I know it hurts. Yeah. It hurts. Because yeah. we've seen him. Be we, great. We've, we've seen, seen the MVP season. Mm-hmm. And he's our guy. Yeah. It hurts. But. Because he's also kind of, it's also one of those weird things that I see it happen to musicians and rappers and shit all the time. We're like, you're almost too good to be in a secondary or non-star kind of role. Sure. Like. Like Allen Iverson when he went out. Yeah. Yeah. Versus Melo going out. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> mm. Like, yeah. it was tough. Iverson wasn't going to come off the bench for the Grizzlies. It didn't matter if he wasn't the nicest no more. I'm me, and y'all are the Grizzlies. 
I'm starting here. <laughs> That's right. No, no, it's crazy. But when you're in practice cooking these niggas, you really gonna be like, yo, nah, stop playing with me. Cam can't really go to practice and take quarterback one reps. Mm. AI probably was cooking them niggas in practice. But y'all, we on our rebuilding shit, so now we want the young nigga to come in and start because we know we're not going to win no game. Uh-uh. Real quick, uh, speaking of the Grizzlies, y'all see Kyrie, uh, D- 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 Dylan Brooks try to do the jersey swap with Kyrie. Kyrie didn't want that it. shit. <laughs> Stepped off on that nigga. Yeah. <laughs> serious? He gave him a dap and kept him pushing. You lying, dog. I'm not lying, dude. I don't want your jersey, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, who made the jersey swap big? No, my, That's a know. big thing now. On one of those, uh, somebody's uh, retirement tour. I can't think of who it was. Was it Kobe? Kobe. One of their retirement tours, they start, everybody start being like, that was Kobe. Kobe retired what year? 2018? Somewhere around there. But that's when I think it it took off. But, yo, and and Dylan Brooks beefing with Clay Thompson. He beefing with everyone. Clay Thompson was like, like, he had to retire before then. Clay Thompson was like, yo, fam. Nobody's going to know who Dylan Brooks is 10 years from now. <laughs> yeah, but he's wrong about that. That's it, right? He's still, wrong about still that. Still funny. That's still, hilarious. That's still funny, it's my still nigga. Funny. It's hilarious. Whether he's right. I like Dylan but Brooks. But he can't keep putting up the four. The four. You can't keep doing this. It's, yeah. it's valid, and you have four rings, but when y'all getting cooked by the new hungry up-and-coming team that, that is matter. trying to prove that they're not afraid of mm-hmm, you, mm-hmm. yeah, they know what you did, they not caring right now. Right. You <laughs> did it. You are not That's doing it. That's why they're doing this. Yeah. That's true. They got to go win one. And Clay doing it without Steph doing it is one. different. <laughs> Cooking me in a regular season don't mean shit. You got to go win one. Like when Steph put up the four, like Clay doing it at, in a meaningless Grizzlies game to Dylan Brooks. Like this is just a, I didn't bring it up to stay here. I just wanted to see if y'all knew yeah, about Kyrie being I an know. asshole. Yeah, yeah I ain't know. Because I, I love him being an asshole. And I was just like, yo, fam, what am I going to do with your jersey? Yo, I wouldn't do the jersey swap because all it takes is one time for that not to go right. See, you know what? Oh, you wait, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You got to have a nigga want your jersey, Hold up, before yeah, yeah. I forget, before I forget, before I forget. In rap land, rappers didn't get too friendly sometimes with other rappers just in case later beef came up. And now you in a song, <laughs> you was on my dick 30 years. Like, <laughs> you don't do that, right? So now when Gilmore got to the Cowboys, mm-hmm. see, this is the equivalent of that for me. They showed all these videos and pictures of Micah Parsons and Stefan Diggs both rushing over to get Gilmore's jersey. So he ended up giving it to Diggs. But Micah is in the position. Yo, nah, I'm here for that. I need that. I need that. Like, all of that. Like, yeah, <laughs> I can't. I wouldn't be caught in one of the moments. I wouldn't. I just think you got to be him. Dog. Like, yeah. nobody's turning down Dwayne Wade's jersey. True. You feel me? Nobody's turning down a swap from Steph. No disrespect. You Dylan Brooks. Turning down and going to get one is different, though. I'm just saying. But, but even if you went to, like, so if, if Dwayne Wade came over to you like, yo, I need that jersey, my nigga. Mm-hmm. You're not going to say no. Nah. Of course not. He For cemented. Sure. You got your look. You're a multimillionaire. You probably got your trophy room in your crib. And I seen, what's the name, by the way, this weekend? House party. Speaking of trophy <laughs> rooms. But um, you got your trophy room in your crib. The new house party? Yes. Mm-hmm. I was home. It was on. I just watched it. <laughs> you really wasted two hours of your song. fucking life. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's like when you took that ride and listened to Meg. This is just, <laughs> you was home alone and put on house party. It's mad <laughs> other shit you could have done. This is a cry for help, is my nigga. Is a nigga. child. <laughs> Why? Why did he uh, put, He already got a review that said it's bad. He don't care. Yeah, I just, I'm going to get my own review. Did you like it? It was trash. It was. Uh, it, yeah. it wasn't. Yeah. A, it on, wasn't for it. us. But for the twenty-year-old demo, us knew that. <laughs> <laughs> us knew. That's us why knew. I never clicked it. That's why us didn't watch. Nah, but uh, that shit went off the rails, man. That shit was bad, yo. It was bad. Thank you. <laughs> it like stop. It was bad. All right. But if you twenty years old, a it was bad. Years old, then entertaining. Mm-mm. Oh, you scared ice, but now I can see it. Your jeans do got a little shimmy shine. <laughs> I told him. I told those, him those, are, those are a little you more expensive. Ice. I told you to give him your hat. 
but they look like the <laughs> shits is leather and they match the hat. No, those you know, are a little man. more expensive than just plain black jeans. That's I see the shimmy. Denim. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> leather <laughs> denim. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, come he on, he, man. He, he I put that shit on today, bro. I, this, I, well, black jeans, black t-shirt, black boots. It's not. Oh, that's shit. not regular black jeans. That's what we, I, I told you earlier. I don't want no problems, bro. You got your uh, Persian lamb shirt on. I think How much that shirt cost? <laughs> that's how I shirt. This one, uh, twenty two hundred. Oh, all right. Stop talking. Nineteen hundred. Stop talking to me. Why? There it is. What are you talking about? My jeans don't cost nowhere near that. Nigga, jeans shouldn't cost twenty two hundred dollars. <laughs> That's not true. Nowadays, I don't wear jeans, so school me. How much your jeans cost? Them Amiri jeans, that them one pair of jeans I bought. What are they? A thousand dollars? See, I, I, shut up. I just let them do that talk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, Mel, you see, I shut the fuck up. They got the other jeans. Where if you're getting custom jeans with the Slips all the way the down the zippers to chains and shit. Dollars. Then you could get to three and three grand. four grand. Yeah, yeah. see, that can oh. get crazy. Mm -hmm. But by the time I pick up the jeans that say four grand, that's when you snap back into your old self and say, "Nigga, I never buy fucking four or five thousand dollar jeans." Just twenty two hundred. Like just to wear because you can't. If you're not wearing that to go somewhere, then where are you wearing it to? Come sit on the pie couch. But that's once to match my twenty two hundred dollar shirt. No, <laughs> this you could wear. A million times. If you come out here with some five thousand dollar jeans, I'm gonna remember I'm the gonna... last time you had the five thousand dollar jeans. <laughs> nah, because on. they be too busy. They be too busy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They be too busy. They not. You can't rock them a lot. And jeans, you want to wear them just eight days or some shit. Hell yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree. If you gonna wear them, my favorite jeans, I rock them shit all the time. <laughs> Mel keep putting her little phone up, recording the dog running around. So. She had, she had got the caught the couch. Niggas on Reddit to us. <laughs> like, look, look what <laughs> oh, Ish did to that couch. <laughs> you know, we hide it pretty well. But, all our but Mel didn't them care. The other day, all our couches <laughs> Mel just up. taped. <laughs> so sorry. I hate, I hate y'all on these phones. <laughs> I hate people on these phones. Snitching. They just tape shit it. without Snitching. knowing what they taping, telling, why, like, why people got to know we fucked the couch up? <laughs> <laughs> then they start talking about us like heathens. <laughs> They, like, they don't know if we're sitting in the spot. <laughs> but, yeah. You give them that, though. Who gives them that? You. If you don't ever say anything about the couch shit on the pod at all, they wouldn't have did that. <laughs> I'm telling you. They, you want, fo you yo, they, play, fo <laughs> they play follow the leader to you, Joe. Real talk. They do. They really do. He knows. If if you don't say nothing about the couch, her doing that wouldn't. You wouldn't conflate the things that I don't feel need to be conflated Yes, I make narratives out of a lot of things. I think that's part of my podcast. Yeah, gift. I'm not saying it's a bad thing. Right? That's just what happens. And you're right. They respond to the narratives. Mm -hmm. So that's all. I'm not refuting that. That's they would have killed the couch regardless. That's true. I, think, I don't think so. But It wouldn't have stood out as much. That, <laughs> what they saw, because I had to rewind. I was like, oh. Right. <laughs> I said, like, damn, we do do a pretty good job. Like, it don't never look like that. <laughs> like, if he get up right now, that should look like we could pour Tide Pod. <laughs> that should look like a Tide Pod. <laughs> but anyway. This guy's a fool. What were we talking about? We were talking about something. It's genius. More, more, you no, took we off the print shirt about. and put on the Morris Day joint. Just, I got nice pieces. I just uh, got to yeah. hire somebody how, how much to, run my, to run my Poshmark. Hey, I'm letting this fly on Poshmark. <laughs> I, on Poshmark, I'm letting it go. You might make a hundred grand. Easy. I think. So. Hey, y'all can add this shit. I'm have cool. You, I got my money. Poshmark Poshmark I'm about to start one. Now. Hey, twenty three hundred. Y'all can add this I'm shit for one. a cool eleven. You, mean you started. You started. I'm about to start one. Yeah. Did you start one yet? No. I'm I, hiring somebody to run my shit. Got it. Got it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But the goal is to make six figures for my Poshmark. I, I walk in my closet and have since you told me about it. And just look around like, nigga, I'll let all this shit fly <laughs> and just start out And be happy because now you got an excuse to start from scratch. Yeah. You don't even feel bad about shopping. <laughs> yeah, like, dog. I, I bought a what's the name off there the other day. What's that? They sent it back, though. Um, This banging-ass Balmain jacket. That shit was fine. But they sent it back. They said they couldn't authenticate it or some shit. So they sent it back. But the shit wasn't even that crazy expensive. Well, you got to authenticate the clothes on Poshmark. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that stops niggas from selling fake shit. Mm -hmm. Oh, of course, got it. Got you get it. what I'm saying? Sense. So you might sell some fucking 
Jordans or something mm-hmm. to to Joe, and then in the, in the middle they'll stop authenticate the Jordans before they forward them to you. If they can't authenticate them, they send them back to Parks. Huh. Got it. That's dope. That's fly. It stops, yeah, it stops, it stops some the same shit. Stock X. I mean, it's not fly for the guy that's looking hood. to buy fake Jordans. Or the nigga that's selling the Jordans, oh, no, and maybe yeah. you just can't get them authenticated. I don't know, but it was a bomb on jacket. That shit was fire. Okay. They sent it back. Gave my money back. While we're on sports, no one knows the reason that Pat McAfee is leaving uh, FanDuel. FanDuel. $30 million a year he's walking away from, so I have to imagine somewhere's giving him 40 <laughs> More than 30 <laughs> Yeah. Because he said, I mean, it, and obviously this is PR shit, he but he said it's all good, it's all love. Oh, please. Yeah, I know. Is yeah. he at the end of a contract? No, he's in the middle. Two years, I think, out of a four-year deal. Oh, that might be beef. So then I want to know how he's leaving. Yeah. It's either beef or a significantly higher amount of money. Enough to where I could buy out. Or just enough to where it's like, eh, you my man, but. <laughs> yeah, but if we got a contract. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. We need a lot more contract. details. Yeah. In this but the contract might talking. not say that he can't. Um, he might not have Joe Budden them. <laughs> he might not have Joe Button them. That's how marriage is That's how marriage is That's, <laughs> that's, that's marriage. a you narrative for your ass right there. You know what I'm saying? That was fucked up. He left Pat a little escape door. Yo, nigga came off of me 40, bro. You want to match it? <laughs> well, no, first of all, the terms that's of tampering. Definitely, um, you ain't gonna offer somebody no damn 40 while I got him on the contract. These are my people. Shit. It's, what? That's not tampering. That's not tampering. If the if the, the not details of the contract is known, it's, it's public not tampering. I'm talking shit. Oh yeah. But oh, no. if you're in a four year contract, mm-hmm. in most instances, other companies won't touch you, knowing that you're in a four year situation. Unless mm-hmm. they don't give a fuck about your company and we competitors. <laughs> Rupert Murdoch would have went down right, there and offered that nigga mad bread. Okay, all right, Grant, granted, you found somebody to offer you mad bread, but I got you in the contract, so now what? If my contract states that I can get out of here, I'm out of here. You can get out yeah. of here. It depends. Everybody's contract is different. That's true. You know what I'm saying? At so. 30 million a year, it's, you're locked in. Yeah. I'm locking you in. There's not many outs at 30 million a year. Mm. That's at how least, you keep everybody protected. At least not this early protected. in the contract. That contract would have to be over. Mm. It yeah. would have to be over. You need a mirror. Or, 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 or some type of a breach on one side. Yeah, or, or, or it might have been enough payout. Like, yo, if you leave, you got to pay X, Y, Z amount of dollars. Oh, yeah. And it might have been worth it to him to, to, to break it. It sounds like he's, like, stressed out from the deal for some reason, from what he said on the show. What did he say? He said that... Uh, you just, he's saying that it's, it seems like it's... There comes a lot of problems with all the money. There's a lot of obstacles. It's a lot of busy work. Uh, shit probably consuming his life, yo. Yeah, he just had a kid, so he's yeah. you know he's saying it's, maybe there's put a lot of pressure on him for delivering content. Right. When you talk about to... Stephen A. Smith all the time, you basically say, yeah, Stephen A. Smith may be the highest paid dude, but he's busting his ass for that money. Yeah. And you say it often. So just imagine if Stephen A. Smith might have had a newborn or might be in a relationship with a newborn. Now... It, it's not, the money don't behoove me to be away from my family and travel around the world. It's not, you know it what I'm saying? It doesn't incentivize you. Yeah. Yeah. It's not, it's not like that. Nah, I feel what you're saying. Like Stephen A. Smith be at the fucking. If I just had a newborn and I got like cousins that I love and the family I really want to see, like that 30, 40 million dollars a year. <laughs> <laughs> no, for real, man. <laughs> no, honestly, the most precious thing we have is time. Oh my God. And second is family. family. Time is the true currency. Yeah, come on. Yeah, second and, and is and family. If, and if we could spend that time with our family, then come on, man. Sit, uh, sitting is the new smoking. <laughs> I mean, uh, just, just really throw the game, just throw all the one the out there. See what sticks. Listen, no, that's buddy. Cool. I feel you. 30 mil. What would you do? What? (laughs) Would you go to stay home with your cousins that you missed? No. What cousins? What would you? (laughs) You got no cousins. I ain't got no cousins. (laughs) Yo, I buy the biggest house. My whole family died in the plane crash. (laughs) (laughs) I'd be like, yo, fam, what you you need? Like, I asked my girl, like, yo, what you need? Move in. Everybody move in. You need nanny? I'm getting you three nannies. They're in that big ass stage million? now. My nigga, $30 There's million. Dollars He's full of shit. 2.5 That's, 5 cap. on That's one? cappuccino. I'm calling mm. cappuccino on uh. You crazy? 
That's Cat McAfee. <laughs> <laughs> 2.5 a month? Mm. You make some things happen with 2.5 a month. That's all it is? That's all it is. <laughs> <You're so bad. laughs> you know my man, man. Wow. Wow. Nigga, it's 2.5. It's me. Yeah. It's mm-hmm. yeah, That's attainable. <laughs> 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 we say the big number, it sounds crazy, huh? Yeah, 30, but it's bulk. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. Divvy, divvy it up. <laughs> yeah, you're divvies. Nah, you're divvies, huh? I think Pat gonna end up, uh, he gonna end up with a big deal from like NFL or Somebody. Somebody. Surprised, yeah. or ABC yeah, man. is some Rupert and yeah Amazon I was gonna say Amazon. one yeah. of the streamers mm. streamer companies mm. yeah because they fighting to get and into they the sports space work. and whoever the company is FanDuel is honored to work this out with them to hand over Pat McAfee yeah it might be that yeah mm-hmm. that's what's gonna happen hey, or they gave him surprised. a consolation they might have hey. gave him a consolation bro you, YouTube just got the uh, NFL package right facts damn yeah good point yeah Good point. Yeah, there mm-hmm. might be some bigger right. bigger dogs yeah. in, the, yeah. in the scene right here yeah. with this shit. Yep. Yeah, there's mm-hmm. something bigger at play. And I, yep. I really like Pat McAfee's show. It's a great show. That's my shit. How long have you all been at YouTube, yo? Oh, ages. Mm-hmm. Ages. That's spanky. <laughs> What'd you say? He just left music as the king of the hill and just went over here and created a new hill. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Must be nice. Yeah, he did that shit. Well, I haven't even it, been on a hill. Fucking <laughs> 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 nigga. Sheesh. You That's two hard. Jump, word. Come, yeah. Jumping into sports. Mm-hmm. Listen, shout out to Pat McAfee. Yeah. Shout out to all y'all sports dudes doing that shit. I hope all y'all get it back. Mm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So Ben Affleck's teaming up with um, Matt Damon to... Can't wait. They're playing um, Nike reps that yes. signed Jordan to the brand Jordan deal. Mm-hmm. Isn't, isn't um, whatchamacallit, Viola, Phil? Da- hmm? isn't isn't um, Matt Damon playing Phil? Phil Jackson. Phil, Phil Knight. Phil Knight. I think. I think so. I'm not sure. Right. I think he's more than just Viola Davis is going to play um, Jordan's mom, mm-hmm. and she, he like handpicked her. So apparently, Jordan is really involved in the story. Okay. Yeah, in the storytelling of the movie. Don't tell Colin Coward. Oh, you're out of there, Pippin. Oh. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Pippin was busy, man. It's about Nike. It was about Pippin. Yeah. Pippin was busy. Guess they're not going to show anything happening over at Central Arkansas while this was going on. Larson <laughs> might get a cameo. <laughs> oh, oh, man. Come on. Come on. She yeah. might. I'm go- I can't wait for this to- this movie to come out. It looks good. Mm-hmm. I'm a big, f- I'm a huge fan of everything Ben Affleck has done mm-hmm. uh, since Jennifer- that's Jennifer Lopez's relationship. Agreed. I am. He's been on an absolute tear Thanks. since we tore his ass up for Giggly. <laughs> <laughs> nah, for real. We watched Giggly. They, they got they tore. They got Both it bad. Yeah, they got, they it, got bad. it bad when that movie. Dropped. I think that's what ruined their relationship the first time around. And was that he, fucking was movie? That, he took it serious. Yeah, and he was like, "Fuck." She this, just bitch. went and kept doing bad. But, <laughs> I'm trying to see what year that was. From that point on, it was like He said, "I'm not taking no okay. movie that ain't that shit." Yeah. Damn, Geekly was 2004. I feel like it was, nigga. Yeah, it was, like it was a long time ago. Yeah. yeah. That shit was a long time ago. And I then, know nigga, I'm she old. done been through like seven more niggas since then. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm no, I know I'm old. Oh, oh three. Oh, three, yeah. Mm. Damn. Eight. 20 joints. Eight niggas. <laughs> 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 Every two and a half. Every two and a half. That's crazy, son. What's wrong with y'all? What? My bad. My bad. I fuck with J-Lo. I like her. Sidebar, they're also making um, a series out of Fatal Attraction. Yes, I saw that too. That's scary, though. Mm -hmm. It's going to give these people some ideas. It should. Who burnt the cat? I hate this new spoof. Who cooked the cat? Yeah, me too. I don't think it's spoof. I think it's actually real. Like it's not going to be like horror comedy. I think it's like actually like stories. Yeah, like it's a it's a series based off the uh, off the original film. Creativity is in the trash. It is mm-hmm. because That's it's a hit it's error. It's just a hit, a hit, a miss error. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They want to take they want to take hits from the past and then just regurgitate yes. it. Yeah, it's because the creativity the is, is is lacking. Mm. And I think I don't even think it's a real um, incentive for people to be creative. True. Because it's a, just a, a hit error. Yeah. Hit error. It's a lot of work. Why would we do all the that hits work? The hits only it's... last for a second. Yeah. And we gone. 
Some about sad. this just feels like the label urging you to use the sample of a song that they own while they own you and the new song you're about to make. So they're gonna make money yeah. regardless. Two, three it, ways. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It, Music yeah. dude, I want to get your opinion on something. Okay. What do you got? Okay. <laughs> All right. So. I really love scores, movie scores, okay? okay? And there's this movie that was like nominated during the Oscars called All Quiet on the Western Front, okay. right? And nominated, huh? Was it good? It's nominated 77 times on the Oscars. Yeah. No, 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 everything all everything everywhere all at once was like the big sweeper, but That was number all 2. Quiet no, but all, Front was up there. It, it was, was it was nominated two. quite a few times. Yeah. Um, but they there's a score. Um, their score for the movie. I want you guys to hear this song from there. And I feel like I this would you. be crazy to sample. Mm, you sitting on okay. Talking to the rapper. I, and, I, and, the, and, and, the, and the producer. Yeah. Oh, and I Let's want, so I want you guys, I want your opinion on this, okay? I'm, I, do you know how excited I am right now? Because <laughs> I, I feel like I might be right. Okay, hold on one second here. If mm. they t- kill this song, Mel, this shit better not be I'm no going to jump in the water. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you. Mm. I'm, I'm diving just in the How just... big of a geek Mel is. <laughs> Word. <laughs> Look, she's excited. I am. Okay. All right. Everybody ready? Okay. Right. So this song this song is called Remains and it's from the score of All Quiet on the Western Front. And you'll understand when I the part, okay? Okay. I'm at the spa. No. <laughs> this is in She brought well, my thigh like now. <laughs> she's on the thigh now. Mm-mm. Just wait. I feel like we're in the movies right now, right? <laughs> oh, nah. I'd have gave that to my producer by now. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. That wasn't bad. That's all. That wasn't bad. <laughs> that just sound like... Now nah, we out. <laughs> Oh yeah! That's oh it, shit! Right, right, right. And now, oh. and now the beat building up. It's building up. Oh shit! Mm-hmm. I would tear y'all niggas up. I know, right? <laughs> and th- and that's it. That's it. That's that's like that's, that's the- enough. That's all. I, yeah, that's I hard. know, right? That's hard. Okay, thank you. See? That's enough. I, I would, say, well, I would just redo that because that's the easiest thing. So you all got to pay nobody. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what? Got you. Just steal it. Yeah, I need to sample that. Yeah, not at all. Ba-boom, That's two ba-boom, instruments. Ba-boom. I'm cool. I when I yeah, out. when I was when I heard this, I was just like, oh god, somebody's got to like so recreate that. So you were just in the movie theater, you heard. Ba-boom, ba-boom, There's ba-boom. a lot of times where like I'm listening to the movie and I'm listening to the score and I'm like, yo, that would be a really fucking awesome sample. But mm, <laughs> then that's oh, it. I should call it Dub B. There was a time where I was watching whatever movie it was. Damn, was it the Negotiator? I don't remember the movie. But at the end, they played a song, and I was hypnotized by the song, so much so that I sent it to him immediately. This is in DVD era. Mm. He was so annoyed with me that he had to take this shit off of a DVD, (laughs) record it, and now try to make a hip-hop beat out of what was made for a movie. And we never he never really finished the beat. We never really made nothing from it. But that part of the beat was... Crazy. That shit was... It was like a chant. It was like... And it was like some Chinese hard ass drums on the like boom, 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 boom. And then the tone changed. And then I rewind that shit and say, Oh, we are out of here. We are gone. It was Black Panther. Soundtrack movie. Black Panther. That shit was Score hard. Some of them shit be dope. Yeah, hell yeah. And it'd be original music from yeah. what I think. Like, yeah. Real bands and cellos and orchestras and or just someone who's super nice on the computer. Wait, or, or let me play another one that I thought was really dope too. Okay. This was from um, Digging with Mel. You <laughs> <laughs> could be on a date with you. You like, yo, listen to the score. Uh, no, I'm, I'm, no, I'm trying to score. But I, I actually, real, right? I actually do do this. I believe you. It really does I happen. Like I'm on a date with somebody. I'm doing this. No, this is. This is from um, American Gangster. This is the score part, not the soundtrack. Mm-hmm. You so don't so have to sit home yeah. and find this loser <laughs> shit. <laughs> what the fuck? Let's go to Whole Foods and Target. A lot. Nigga, for call no us. Just get go a outside. Mop. Just go get a mop. Just, go, just go buy go a mop. Outside. Somebody gonna come just mop outside. you up. Yo, damn. Good I job. am at Whole Foods. Oh, no, you need to know. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> 
then I found this other score. It was in the folder. And look, listen, check this out. And the shit was dope, though. You said, I ain't gonna lie. You said in the negotiator? Oh, God. And uh, that shit was dope. I'm not sure, but I thought so. Yeah, definitely not that. No, this one, all right. You're definitely not that. Yeah, that's not hard, too. That's what I was <laughs> I almost want to call Dub B and ask him what movie that was, but if to get a random ago, call asking for a movie from 30 years ago is crazy. Yeah. So yeah. I won't. Yeah, don't do that. I'm not. And Dub is married now and she got a kid. Bunch of money. I don't know. So that first call shouldn't be the part. Hey! Yo, <laughs> yo, yo, yo remember, remember that? 94! <laughs> yo, 94, yo! What was it? <laughs> he probably remember though. I think he yeah. would too. This was be remember. I remember. I think he most would. of my shit right away too. Like, oh yeah, yeah that was. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, at least like y'all be like yeah, we're quirky nerds. with that we're kind of shit. shit. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, tell me about uh, Boris Kojo. Who? Uh, apparently, the Reddit mofo's are talking. I said that um, Nicole, you know Boris is Boris and B Boris Kojo and Nicole R. E. Parker. They've been married for seventeen you know years, mm -hmm. and apparently. Allegedly, Nicole Ari Parker says she misses the single life after being married okay, for 17 yeah, years and wants more attention. And I call so much cap. That's not fucking true. They have to have like taken a sound bite and manipulated it. And, and nah, nah, she ain't, she did not say Why? that. <sighs> because she's married to fucking Boris Kojo. No, that's like being married to Halle Berry. <laughs> yep. Listen, he just posted something recently. Okay? Are you following I don't, no, I don't follow him. I, it was just everywhere. Like the blogs posted it because oh, I didn't see it. The, I didn't see it either. I the follow blog, all the blogs. The blogs posted it. What blogs and, you follow? I don't follow. And, 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 <laughs> Hotnigga.com. <laughs> yeah, go ahead, though. Go ahead. And they were like booed up in bed, and he was talking about like he was just being all lovey dovey with her and saying like. Loves waking up to her still 17 years later. And oh, what? Right, you go, you first. Yes. That's good advertisement. Bigger than that. He could feel marketing. That, he could feel that way. That don't mean she got to feel that way. I, I just don't buy it. Bigger than that. You know what I mean? Motherfuckers be posted happy as hell and don't feel happy as hell. They just post that. Niggas be having on matching pajamas I've on heard. Christmas Eve. I've heard. And be taking the gift to their side chick the yes. day after. Yeah, it's yes. just marketing for when he's single again. <laughs> Like, oh, no, he was so oh, dope. Oh, he was a good one. Yo, she yeah. dropped the ball. What do they call it? You guys yeah. fumbled the ball. Fumbled. You, you fumbled guys the bag. are so cynical and jaded. It's no, crazy. I'm, no, I'm no being, we just live I'm in a real realistic world. side of this. Not saying that they are not happy. They can be happy. Mm -hmm. However, being in a relationship for 17 Ooh. years. Yes. Ooh. You know what you should watch? What? Sex Life. On you Netflix. definitely should oh, watch. Oh, I definitely the have the already. The first season. Then, then you could wow. no, 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 the first season alone. You would understand. Now, not the second. She never wanted to be without that dude. She married well because he, the one long duck dong, the motherfucker with the big dick, he disappeared. That's why she didn't end up with him. She went with the- <laughs> That's not why. That, huh? Yeah. That's not why. No. <laughs> you got to watch Sex Life. You, you never watched it. I don't know what's Me and Ice came in. It's a series. It's sex. On... No, last year was just a mini series. And it did so well that they have a season no, two. No, it was a season it was a, one. It was just season they were, one they were always, That they was were, season yeah, one? Yeah, they were always going to do. What was it about? Do. I might have watched it. We talked it about it. It was Sex Slash Life. I know. Read it Sex Life. It was a lady and she met a dude that she was head over heels in love with when she was at Columbia in like her 20s. Uh huh. And then, but he was a music dude. He was fucking mad bitches. Kept breaking her heart. But they had good, really good chemistry. Really uh -huh. good passion. Then she met this other dude that on paper was like amazing. He was rich, house in Connecticut. He wifed her. He wasn't cheating. You know what I'm saying? He, he ended up having her. kids. All of, like he yeah. worshipped the ground she walked on. Okay. But his dick game wasn't good and he wasn't as passionate as the other dude okay. that kept breaking her heart. And so it was sex slash life. And she basically was fighting a battle between the passion or the principle. Mm. Damn, I, I this sounds it. like the, this sounds like a jail novel. Nah, it really yeah. is. <laughs> on, it, on, it come to life. It is just just gratuitous fucking. That's it. That's not true. Oh my god. True. And true. for you to look at it like that is crazy to me. <laughs> no, that shit that is was. Not, so... We got two men right here saying that that is That's not why true. I'm, I'm muting up. I'm listening. This Yo, is great. Dog, this is great. The, the, talk, the movie. It really goes into. What are you really willing to sacrifice? There's a, there's a scene in this where the husband discovers. You caught, know, who caught, the, caught them cheating. Discovers who the lover is. Listen to your and, nasty ass. You, you whoa, whoa, target whoa, whoa, with Lululemon, you're going to be whoa, good, whoa, yo. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And then he follows the lover. 
in the into gym. a into a gym and they end up in the shower and they're butt ass naked and he. He's basically, and the nigga dick was down here. Yes, it he was. He seen the nigga, the nigga dick was down there. So he's like, yo, that's what I got to contend with. Yeah, he does. L- Nasty Nancy over here <laughs> takes all of the quality of the This shit was it so is, gratuitous. Watch it, yo, I, because it's a real life grown people shit where oh you might be fighting a battle between the it was perfect once. woman on paper. Uh-huh. She's a good mom. She's supportive. She's dope. She's this. She's that. For the wild, fiery, nasty chick that you used to have mad fun with, but don't don't have none of those other attributes. And it's not good for you. This was one and it's step really above not Harley good Quinn. for you. That's really what it was. It's about. really not good for you. The other nigga was toxic, had a crying, mm-hmm. losing weight, going through it, fucked up her life. But he had good sex and he was fun and he was passion. The nigga over here was... This was the safe nigga. Mm -hmm. He was more than safe, though. He was the epitome of stability and good. Didn't cheat, didn't do nothing wrong, and she was torn between the two. So is the moral of this story you should pick the fucking big dick dude? Or the, the, horror, moral of this the horror woman? <laughs> no, it's just, more, it's just a, it was a real thing that I think everybody goes yeah, through. Yeah, for sure. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? So I think that, that, that watch it. Yo, you'll, you'll like it, I think. But... In, in Nicole Ari Parker's thing, fam, when you come home every single day and you know what you're going to get, mm. the excitement gets out of that. And nothing about how y'all just did that makes me believe that y'all watch that show together. <laughs> cool. <laughs> It is literally one step above a Harlequin. I'm just gonna <laughs> say that, drop that, leave that no, there. No, I'm really shocked that you're because you, you, you. you yeah. I just love research. how disgusted they are. Yeah, I'm mad at her. Kind of like, <laughs> nah, no, because she, rom- romance novel. No, nah, I feel them though. For her to be yeah. Miss Movie Nuance, and all you could think about is the dick. <laughs> Ta-da! Ta-da! I mean, la- wait, well, wait, wait, wait till you see the dick. Wow. I mean, listen, I'm telling you. You don't even see the nigga dick like episode Let me, six. It's actually, remember. I think it's like episode four. Look, and that, he got it wrong. Wrong. Because every woman was watching this series and they were like, wait till you get to episode four, minute 18 in the shower. Women were talking about this because that's, this was lightweight. This was so lightweight. In terms of like a moral conundrum, That's oh what I'm wow! Going to draw, get my prosthetic. <laughs> <laughs> going to get my meat shot. Yeah, was it, was it a white dick? Yeah, yeah. Randy was right. <laughs> Randy was right. <laughs> going to go to get my meat. Going to go to draw, get my meat shot. Word up. <laughs> Pull my meat shot on these bitches. <laughs> Fam, but no, watch it, yo. But again, she could oh, be just bored. Not selling it, it's bored. It's boredom. I, in yes. her case, I think she was bored. She was a stay-at-home mom. I'm talking about Nicole R. Uh, yeah. Oh, oh, Nicole. She R. could R. happen bored, there too. Fam. Nope, sorry. Mm-mm. I don't know why Melissa's calling cap on this because she, she likes Boris, Boris. Is so fire that you can't cheat on him and you can't be <clears> bored <throat> with him. This is the same thing that Aisha Curry said a few years ago. Yes, and it is. Tore her ass up. And Mel and, saying and, that and, Boris and, ain't Steph. <laughs> This is the same thing we said to Mel that we got tore up for. Yeah. Wait, hold up. Hold oh, up, hold that up, hold is up, true, up, Mel. Wait, you really want to tell the truth? That is true, Mel. You just oh. said, yo, would y'all cheat with that thing over me? <laughs> and We're we not, all looked at you hey, and said. Hey, don't go back there. Don't go back there. Okay, that's, that's, very, that's a very dangerous it's a door to open. It's the trouble. <laughs> it's the same. Trouble. <laughs> it's very triggering. Um, you don't think it's the same? <laughs> no. Okay. Why? Let, see. Just because I don't. You could, <laughs> no, 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 I just tried no, to wait, pull wait, the one. I just tried to do that. one for the boys. <laughs> Actually, the score is way 17. worse than that. The score is way worse than that. Yeah, like dog. For, Halle Berry's been married mad times. Jennifer Lopez has been married mad times. Can I interrupt real quick? Absolutely. Yeah. I hate to brush your bubble. <laughs> there ain't too many places on earth that Boris Kojo today could walk to with Steph Curry and and fear fear the greatest. I don't know what you're talking about. What? I want to make that perfectly clear. It ain't none. I don't know That's what she's true. talking about. That's not true. It ain't none. Dog. That's not true. I'm not saying it's none. That's not true. I mean, it ain't you a lot. I disagree with that. Shit. Hell no. Yeah. So how tall do you think Boris Kojo Boris is? Boris 6'3"? He's around there, yeah. He's about 6'3". Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. No, but the end. Not, but we, the end. That's not true, his, Joe. His, that's his, not. his popularity, visibility, marketability, and all of that I'm stuff not, today. I'm not talking along about that. Along with his we, money. We not talking, no. not talking about that. I'm, I'm but it counts. It, 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 it counts. counts. Don't, it don't counts. try to not talk I'm about not. it. We talk about it. No, it counts. 
every girl. I stand in that. Listen, so you know what? I'm gonna put a you're poll up. Stuff over Boris. I'm gonna. I'm put a. Yeah. No, well, I'm not bisexual, but I'm saying that <laughs> those say two that. gentlemen right now. I'm not talking about the '90s. Mm-hmm. I'm talking about now. I'm mm-hmm. talking about right this second, and right this second has Wardell at his life peak and True. life prime no, versus Boris as he's aging out. There are not too many places today where Boris is going to go in and and that, that reaction that was that's what's disrespectful. I didn't like that. <laughs> that's, that's I'm going to I'm going to disagree. Nigga, with you. if I got 500 M's, fuck Boris. Y'all, y'all be putting too much mu- uh, uh, emphasis on the bag. You don't put enough. I know, Joe. <laughs> and, and that says a lot. Yes, you do. So you you no, just bought it right now. The cir- no, I'm not. It depends on the yeah, circumstance. I'm, t- I'm telling Mel you. Mel is talking about from I, a female perspective. Boris both is, of these niggas is married. If Steph walks in a room and, and Boris, Boris walks, walks in, in the room, room Boris, a lot of them bitches is going to flock to Boris. Yeah, they uh, both married, but it's only one of them that the little cheerleading girls is writing signs to and holding up at mm, the free throw line at the game. How it's only old are the women we talking about in this room? We're just That's talk, really we're, what we're, it we're just, let's just That's use it. a we'll just use a wide how, swath of the population. Let's use women in the room. Yeah, because the old hoes stopped counting the five hundred million when they got older. No, no, <laughs> both <laughs> married. I know I can't get these niggas money. I'm gonna go with the nigga that I think might satisfy me sexually. If we're going, if we're going based Stop strictly, all off, these women don't be caring I'm about telling, that shit, look, bro. I'm telling you, so you're saying, all the so you're saying, stop right there. Stop right there. Give me the percentage of women that don't be caring about this though. I don't know the percentage, but let me. Let yes, me no, 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 no. I'm gonna make but, a good. No, but, I don't know, but I'm gonna make a good point. Joe, a half an hour ago, you just said you was rumbling and tumbling with the rich niggas with the same bitches, yeah. and when you was broke, I was broke. Yeah, that speaks volumes. That speaks for my point. Boris point, rich niggas zero. You was fucking the same girls broke in an ES three hundred. If I'm, that, I was there. I wasn't fucking the girls. Fucking. That's not true. <laughs> Nigga, <laughs> is your Eskimo that's brother. Right. Is my that's Eskimo right. brother. And I don't got no money. All right, we right. There's a lot going on. There's a lot going on. Hey, right Mark. Mark. <laughs> All right, let's get back to arguing about which which boys we think are cutest. <laughs> <laughs> we just had the greatest argument off mic. Yeah, but Mark, I'm not really arguing which boys are cute. I'm arguing. I love this podcast. I'm sometimes. arguing marketing again. Mm. Okay. And Steph Curry has billions of dollars in marketing to his advantage. Indeed. That's my only point. Mm -hmm. I know the power of that. I ain't saying he the cutest. Well, wait, time out. He also is known as being the best at something. I think that matters, too, when you walk in the club. It does. Like when Floyd walk in, that, hey, you think you're the best fighter. (laughs) Like... Hey, that's the best nigga in the world shooting a jump shot. I think that counts for something. But I'm just talking about that. I'm not trying to argue who is the cuter guy or who can get more pussy. I'm very aware of Boris Kojo. Mm-hmm. But right now, he don't have those other faculties at work for him. He just has him. Yeah. Boris Kojo and his looks. And that's it. And when and you that's versus all the, and that's all that that's all that's needed. Under Armour, the NBA, the fucking insurance the commercials, the that's all I'm that's all I'm saying. Joe, I think you're thinking in man brain. Yes, that's what I, I was about. I was about to say that. Brain. You guys I just talking about marketing? A lot of times I think you are thinking in man brain. I'm not eating on this shit. A woman don't give a fuck about Steph Curry's they three point don't. ability. They don't. They don't. You looking at that from our brain. We know who Steph Curry is. We value, we revere Steph Curry. These women don't give a fuck about no Steph Curry. There's a woman right here I'm, saying I'm liter- that. They- I'm literally, <laughs> listen. She's I'm, been I saying, will, I, will, I don't. I will not she say also here. is not fucking. So her so word don't what? mean much That's to me. That's not true. She Just might not actively I- be fucking right now. She's been fucked over the last 20 years. But I'm talking about right now. And, and Paul, I'm, I just what? feel like something should... <laughs> 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 I'm the CEO. I'm gonna run over there. I wait. I got plausible deniability. Yo, <laughs> yo, yo this podcast. Yo, oh, man. The woman, again. the single woman in the room to argue about which no, man can get more. Again, so that's my point. <laughs> I don't give a fuck about no marketing and neither do the women. If it's a handsome, fly nigga, he could be married his whole fucking life. These girls could disregard his wife. They don't give a fuck about his wife. Steph is marketed as a married man. You think these women care? 
Yeah, I'm about to crack that fucking motherfucker. <laughs> oh, he made this nigga take his shirt off? No, they don't got, care, Joe. Women don't give a fuck about that? This is where you're wrong. Okay, tell me. I'm going to tell you, listen. This is where you're wrong. <laughs> so you're right. Women don't care about that. And women okay. don't be knowing shit about shit. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I got one for you. I don't know. I don't want throwing nigga under the bus. But look, who can make a free throw. Who can't make a free throw. I got one. I got one. Man, I'm man. gonna crack his muffin. Go ahead. Hey, man, man, Corey. Man, man, you about to be dead. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Good. <laughs> nah, forgot because you fucking talking. Listen, we had a nigga on the hey, show. Hey, hey, no, I'm trying to remember my shit. All right, well, remember, we had a nigga on the show that he said we called a sniper. And we compared him to certain figures. Uh -huh. And that nigga sat on the couch and said, yo, don't compare me to them niggas. He said, yo, dog, when a sniper is present, and he shoots somebody, you never knew he was there. True. Who is this that you're talking about? And he got him lined up, dropped down. Don't even put niggas in his breath. Who is, who? And women don't look at that nigga the same way men look at that nigga. Who? I'll tell you that off, Mike. That is true. Shit. I'll tell you off, Mike. Why men, you tell men. Him? Oh, because I don't want to put He was on the show. I know, but he didn't say that live. He said that to us. He didn't say that on here. Uh, mm -mm. He didn't say that on here. He didn't say that on here. Oh, he did? Oh. Mm -mm. oh. So again, what I'm telling you is thinking in man brain and thinking in woman brain are different. I can't wait to this. This is what I'm saying sense. to you. I remember my point. This is what I'm saying to you. This is why I do make a difference. Boris Kojo and Steph Curry <laughs> both walk in the hottest club in the hottest spot, wherever you want to put it. Vegas. With the Only hottest girls. No, With the no, hottest no. Girl. The hottest girls are there. Hottest they're, girls are there. They're there. They're there. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. They both walk in. You're right. <laughs> the girls don't care that Steph Curry has the best jump shot this world has ever seen. Mm -hmm. But the other people know that about Steph Curry. Mm -hmm. And now there's commotion. True. Women see that and flock to that. They That's do. why that matters. Women like you how you're received. Yeah, women you, are paying yeah. attention that's to that's how you're that received by other true. people. That is a thousand percent So how would it, how would, I just don't see what's happening for Boris today. If this was the 90s, I get your That's point. why I kept no. asking how old let, are the women let, in the room? Let me, let me, I'm going to Because that's going to change gonna, that. Wait, wait, wait. No, please, wait, wait, wait. Let me tell you what's going to happen when Boris Kojo <laughs> and Steph Curry walk into the same room. Steph Curry is going to get flocked and flanked by a million Men. groupie Niggas. Men. Men. Women are going to be able to get to Steph Curry because of all the men surrounding around him. Boris, on the other hand, is going to be a wide berth for every woman who's like looking at him. And here's the difference between Steph Curry and Boris Kojo is Steph Curry. Yes, you're right. He is whole. He's his whole image is wholesome. And that's the way he comes across. He doesn't come across with having an enormous amount of sex appeal. Boris Kojo, he can't help but come across as ridiculously sexy. I don't know the black men that have gotten to a billion dollars with sex appeal slider, the sex appeal but slider. I'm, up. But I'm no, telling, you I'm telling you, yeah. listen, money, you got, you, you keep speaking. I'm not respond. talking no, no. about attractiveness wait, to women. But wait, time out. My consistent point is marketing. I'm only responding to what Mel is saying. I if this guy really wants to be worth a billion dollars and we're watching him, so we see what he's trying to do. Mm -hmm. Then yeah, they're gonna want him to be as wholesome. No, no. Listen then to me. Give me the person listen, that that did. Listen, that, listen that, to no. me. Then when give me when listen to here, a woman. here's here's the thing. We have an we have so many examples of. I identify as. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Play, play, play. Now go ahead, play no, around. No, 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 finish your thing. What this we is. have, we have examples of Boris Kojo and what we imagine him to be like in a relationship, wooing a woman and having sex. Why? Because he's an actor and he's portrayed roles in which he had to be all those things. Women are. This is where you get us inside of our heads, in our imagination. And because we've already fantasized she's about cooking. Boris. She's not. She's, she's 60 years old. You're bugging. She's cooking. You are She's bugging. not cooking. You I are. am cooking. She's cooking. I am cooking. She, I she's am. She's talking about her demo. Uh, no, I'm not. The you young girls saying. don't have no idea what fucking movie Boris Kojo did. And you can't oh. call somebody 25 and under who probably know who the fuck Boris Kojo why, is. Why? 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 So, exactly. that invalidate them? 
Yeah, what you fuck you talking about? <laughs> Halle Berry, you can't call a whole bunch of young niggas that know who Halle Berry is, but that don't How mean do that they want to fuck that bitch. How do they not know who Halle Berry is? That's not, yo, 25-year-old niggas is not looking at Halle Berry how we looked at Halle Berry. And Boris Kojo's younger than fucking Halle Berry. Halle Berry is a way bigger star than Boris. But they know who she is. I'm just giving you an example. That's all I'm saying. Mel is saying this, and I think, let me try. It doesn't even have to be. Fam, they have sized Boris Kojo up sexually, mentally, and they brain. Nobody gives a fuck about Steph Curry shooting no three. Running off a pit. And hold on. Ain't no girl getting wet and off that. And wait, wait. And hold on. Yo, they couldn't be more wrong. And hold on. Yo, let's put Boris a- Kojo what? at his biggest in life. Pause. That's the pause. <laughs> That's still a very small subgenre of fucking jet magazine women this? that y'all are talking about. How about, about. This? How about this? What the fuck are these niggas talking about? How about this? How about this? Y'all talking about a very you small part no, of the population no. Yo, that he no. never knew too this much. nigga existed. You are, here's the thing. You are <laughs> underestimating. You're underestimating yeah, you Boris Kojo. Here. You're underestimating Boris Kojo and you're underestimating the amount of women worldwide who know who that motherfucker is and find him very attractive. And furthermore, let's take their careers off off the fucking table. Let's just take. Let's, oh my let's, God. Yes, you can. That's not yes, true, you fucking can. You yes, you can. She got to take him off to prove her women know Boris Kojo worldwide I, point it's, today. No, it's not. Where do women know him from today? It's not even. It's not. Answer even, my question. It's not even let a knowing. Let her finish up. Answer my question. Answer. Where do they know him from? It's not Television. even. It's not even necessarily even a knowing thing. Looking at them. Okay, Looking I'm at them work. when they I'm if, if these two men were to walk in the room, yeah, bugging. You sorry, bugging. you bugging, bro. And I again, I, I I'm shocked that what, you're saying that. I don't hear y'all because you was the broke nigga, fucking mad bitches. That was bad, boy. But wait, that's not that's because y'all we keep here. y'all whole y'all you and Corey's whole argument is resting on this nigga about to be a billionaire. That's not true. And his saying, global we're impact saying a lot via more. basketball. I'm saying more than that. Y'all talking about his global impact via basketball. I'm talking about I'm talking about female. my name ring bells world, world the real worldwide. True. Not this 90s true. 80s shit you talking true. about. Yeah, my the name real ring, worldwide my, today, currently. My, no, no. Walk outside. Your kids, your grandkids, your grandparents. All of that. That. Worldwide. Never no in none of y'all's life Did has Kojo. that been the case for Boris Kojo. I'm agreeing with that. Agreed. So, no, that don't have nothing that to do nothing with to a do female with hormonal y'all saying impulses. Just by looking just no, on it the don't. eye test. You just say on the eye test. <laughs> yo, you got to be kidding me. I'm not saying it don't. I'm, I'm, I'm not saying it <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. I'm not saying it does Get not the, add to attraction. Oh, are women in no, Reddit? No. Are women in Reddit? I did not say that. I feel like if women are in Reddit, then speak up and let me know if I'm wrong. Yeah, women, speak up crazy. and let me know because I. And again, for yeah. you to say that. Can you that. call any woman 25 and or under right now? Why do you keep going why to 25 keep, or under? That's yeah, what I want to know. That's why woman. I keep asking. Why well, do you, you call keep, somebody 35 and under? Can she just call a woman? She could call a woman that say I no. fuck Boris right now over Steph. No, people know Boris is attractive. I could call 20 girls right now to say they fuck Boris over Steph. All right, then. So what are we talking about? Why are we limited in our demo? Uh, because I'm because my, I go just, to those women. Look what you preface They it don't as, know who this person you is. You it as birds. You get what I'm saying, <laughs> fam? Listen, cute matters, my nigga. I'm done with y'all. All right, well you come you come with your cute. <laughs> it matters. All right, you come with women your cute. Women like attractive niggas. niggas. You come with niggas your cute. Niggas like yo. Let me give you I'm an example. I'm going to bring my cute, yo. my money, my jump shot. My commercials, okay, I'm I, bringing he, all, all my, that. my wholesomeness, I'm bringing that, and I'm going to win. Yo, Joe, girl don't want to fuck the wholesome dude. They want to fuck the bad boy. Steph and again, Curry for you is to fucking be more women something. than Boris Kojo today, I'm sorry. And this is sex I'm life, sorry. basically. I'm sorry. I don't know. And they both married, so nobody's fucking true. anybody. And That's this true. is sex life, Nobody's like, fucking anybody. I don't know. And by but this, I'm done I with this I don't know, nigga. yo. You, I, yo I'm, I'm so I can't shocked believe at you. you. I'm shocked at you. Oh! Joe, do you know how many rooms we've been in broke? I know how many rooms I've been in broke 40 pounds lighter and I didn't give a fuck who was in that room. But that's how I know that we communicating poorly because you keep saying that and I feel like that part is irrelevant to what I'm trying to that argue. That was the, what you and Corey was resting on. The fact that's, that this that's nigga is rich to what and I'm, popular. That's irrelevant. No. That's, all right, y'all lost me because y'all kept saying that is the, exactly the, the, what they're the saying. global marketing, global yes. marketing. Yes. They market. I'm taking yo, it dog, to mean that. Corey said, l- l- hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me tell you what Corey said. I said, yo, let me tell you something. I remember Allen Iverson. Every girl in America wanted to fuck Allen Iverson. And Corey blamed it on marketing. 
Can I jump in? Marketing ain't make no bitch pussy get yo, wet, Corey. Can I, yo, can I jump in? I ain't like, nothing that Dawn's back pills could do to make a bitch pussy get wet. <laughs> but, but, Chevrolet but, can't make their pussy get wet. But that's where you're wrong. They thought Allen Iverson was attractive. Girls think Carmelo Anthony is attractive. Can I ask you I a question? I don't hear girls rant and rave about LeBron. LeBron's the biggest athlete on the planet. Can I, can I ask you a question? They don't talk about him with the same reverence that they talked about Allen Iverson, bro. See, how could you or say... Or Melo. How could you say this statement and think marketing has nothing to do with it? That's where I'm confused. This is not a money thing. How do you say those things and think Listen, marketing has nothing to do with this? What I'm telling you is this. Hold look, on, let me ask you a question before you I'm go. about to answer you. But, oh, no, but let me right. ask you another question. Allen Iverson fucked them all, right? I don't know. Allegedly. 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 Because yes. he Allegedly. was married. Right? <laughs> Monster. <laughs> what would be the... Do what that tell nigga was Sylvester tell I'm asking you. <laughs> all right, so if he was Sylvester Stallone then, uh -huh. then tell me the difference in Allen Iverson's, Allen Iverson's audience if he was lock and step moving with the NBA and David Stern and they saw eye to eye. What would be the difference in his audience? I don't think none. Oh, see, all right, we can't have this conversation. No, I see that's where, not. No, no, I see no, no, why. No, no, I see no. where we keep going his wrong. Audience. I keep. I see where we keep going wrong. I got it. I'm done with this. Yeah, his his audience would be a hundred times. That, that is why you discount the marketing part of it. Listen to this. Let me ask you this. Let me ask Mel this. Allen Iverson walks in the room. Boris Kojo walks in the room. <laughs> Allen Iverson walks in the room. Boris Kojo walks in the room. Uh, That's a rough, fair one. That's a hard 12-round bout. Yeah, between two broke niggas. Yo, you and that, you keep See, asking yeah, why we yeah. bringing up money. Yeah, you took you that right to money. You keep going to money. Allen Iverson. And, and, no, and, I was, and I was right about to say the reason why I have that expression is because they fall into the same category of having an enormous amount of sex appeal walking in the room. Thank Steph you. Curry does not have that sex Thank appeal. You. He doesn't, he, he is wholesome. He and presents why? that way. And he, why? And why? Yo, you niggas is Yeah, y'all are, yeah, I'm done with y'all. Yo, you I'm done niggas with are crazy. Yeah, I'm, I'm done with them. Hey, yo, y'all are nuts. Yo, yo y'all are really disrespecting women saying that women are being led by the marketing that think a nigga's sexy enough. They are being led. But it's not just women, it's people. It's not just women, it's people. People, people are fooled by marketing. Are you, I've never found a bitch sexy that made, made me market to think I was sexy. 100%. I have yeah, not. That's not true. You are wrong. You are wrong. You said you've never found what a woman, chick what, sexy what that woman, they what marketed woman can you to guys, make you think What woman sexy? can you guys say you find sexy because of her marketing? That, not like, one. Because of her marketing. Kim Kardashian is, it was regarded as the sexiest woman in the world wow. because of her marketing. What Yo, are you what are you talking about? Oh, well, maybe I could go on and on about can't. what marketing has There's done. There's a lot of women. Yeah, well, I don't even understand this. If you saw well, the she marketed that herself famous, fucking. So you wouldn't be interested. She marketed yeah, herself yeah. fucking. Fame is not. Uh, but, but she's also. But famous, she's all, I don't she's think she's sexy. Part. But she's also not fucking hard on the eyes. She is a fucking beautiful woman, Who? and she's. I'm talking about Kim Kardashian. Like I just don't think that this is like, that she's a good example. Yo, fam. I, I'm totally disagreeing. We can move forward because I will and we holding up the pot. Fam, there's no woman <laughs> the that has ever been marketed to me <laughs> as yeah, sexy and it, pushed my, and it pushed my thoughts <laughs> into thinking she's sexy. I don't know. I'm not a woman. I don't see that. Yo, dog, when somebody is attractive, they're attractive. Mm -hmm. If somebody is sexy, they sexy. It's chicks that I might not even think attractive, but I could think it's sexy. And vice versa. Uh -huh. It's some girls that don't really have much sex appeal, but they could be dropped dead gorgeous. Christina mm -hmm. Milian has been gorgeous our entire life, but nobody looked at her like, damn, I want to bust her ass. When she was younger, she was marketed as a kid because she didn't have the sex appeal. Okay. Mm -hmm. Niggas jerking off to Beyonce. You might look feel like a creep jerking off to Christina Milian. You understand what I'm saying? It's, I'm, and it's, it's no disrespect. I'm just saying back in the day, Christina <laughs> Milian looked like a little girl, kind of, right? Mm -hmm. Sexy versus beautiful. Going forward, fam, oh, I got a good one. Remember the nigga got locked up? The, the green eyes nigga got locked up? Yeah. Oh, Jeremy Meeks. Bitches yeah. was writing to jail for the nigga. Mm -hmm. He didn't have no money. Look at that Girls prison was bag. writing to jail for the... They yeah, nicknamed they the nigga Prison Bag. <laughs> yeah, they were. Yeah. He got In out of jail story, and married a billionaire. We're never saying that broke niggas can't get pussy. That's why I keep getting confused. Because you him keep bringing that. up money. I said, Alan Iverson and Boris Kojo in the room. You said two broke niggas walk in the room. We're, but that's still not saying that and broke Alice niggas Iverson can't broke. get pussy-ish. 
No, you're not saying that broke niggas not, can't I'm, get I'm, pussy. You're saying the what you're saying is the enormous than, amount yes. of uh, the enormous amount of monetary value that he has is part of the you appeal. know the the appeal, it and it's it like is. Mm. it is. That's that's the second half of the point. The first part that y'all keep missing is. There are a trillion people who will acknowledge Stephen Curry as somebody that has no idea who Boris Kojo is. True. And I guess what I've been saying so, the whole so, time. Wait, 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 wait. And there's a lot wait, of women that don't talk, give a Let me talk, let me talk, let me talk, ish. Let me talk, ish. So just by sheer math. <laughs> even, yeah, he's playing in a different water. Mm. Way more market share here. I think I was. I think I was trying to <laughs> simplify it by that's saying. That's not what y'all saying. That is what I'm we've agreeing been saying. with what y'all just saying. That's not what y'all was saying. Yes, yeah, Steph's saying ocean that. is bigger than <laughs> Boris's ocean. But way. No, nobody bigger. said it's not. Nobody said it's not. I said his level of attraction to women mm. is different than Steph's. Nobody said right. he not globally big. Yo, Steph Curry is in the sky. Boris Kojo is a fucking ant on the ground. And those are the reasons that Boris Kojo will have a difficult time if him and Steph Curry walk into the same bar on most nights. Don't think so. That's not I disagree, I disagree, I disagree with you. Because let me tell you something. With Boris you. Kojo. I know. Let me tell you something. Boris Kojo. Listen, Steph Curry and Boris Kojo walk in the room, and we don't know who the two motherfuckers stop, are. Stop. Stop. No, but stop. Wait, 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 and hold on, and hold on, and then Boris Kojo starts speaking one of the six languages that this motherfucker knows. Okay, panties are dropping. All right, I'm done with this. It's totally, it's totally with, disregarding with, what how women think yeah, and what I'll they be, find yeah. attractive. Y'all are, I'll finish with Yo, I, are, I won the argument. Y'all yeah, 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 won it. Yeah, I won. Let me help you out. Y'all are disregarding women. The music is jamming in the spot. We can't hear none of that foreign shit. The fucking book. Money can't be fucked. Nobody gives a fuck. All we see is Stephen Curry. Yo, bro, y'all bugging. I'm done. Y'all. That was funny. That, was that, that nigga said, "Cut that, that nigga mic off." <laughs> Boy, you know, Pauly Vu out of here, nigga. They're like, "What is that?" Bouche Vu, Bouche la le voix, la quoi, ça chouette, ça chouette. Yo, was it? Oh man, yo, you, you niggas is crazy. Y'all niggas worship yo. bread, yo. Y'all niggas worship bread, yo. <laughs> get you a loaf of bread you know on, a, on a too chain. Long. I even I'm gonna get a loaf of bread for y'all on even a chain. That. Yo, y'all. But niggas. I do think that you should pay more. Uh, you should pay more mind to marketing. Yeah. I do just, believe that. Hey Joe, I'm telling you, off mic. Corey compared a nigga that I've known my entire life to these niggas. <laughs> they don't belong in the same fucking category. Girls like what they like. My nigga, Steph, Cur I mean, not Steph, girls like Mello. Mm. Girls like Mello. Mm -hmm. look they me, look at Mello as but, sexy. But I've heard, parts, let me just respond no, I, I, have one, I have one quick question. Shoot. Just a yes and no Absolutely. question. You're sitting in a bar, a lounge, right? It's, mm -hmm. it's two couches like this. It's you and Rihanna and some other girl that's very fine. You can talk to both of them. You can have your mm -hmm. pick of the litter. They're both equally fine, or maybe one's finer than the other, whatever it may be. Who are you talking to first? You got it. Well, who's the fucking other no, girl? No, no, no. Is your more, name no, Ish? No, 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 no. Be more specific. Is your name Ish? Be, no, I'm, I'm answering. <laughs> that's similar, but I just similar, want your little buddy over here. Like they keep talking, talking when you and talk. That's where, and, that's, and that's where it's not equal. <laughs> Why? That's where it's not equal. Why? Because what Mel is saying. So you said they're both 6'3 or something? No. That height ain't got nothing to do with it. That's one attribute, nigga. Okay. Mel is saying Boris Kojo is head over heels finer than Steph Curry. And they've been wanting to fuck him. That is what Mel is saying. That's the part that's of the joke. So listen, wait, wait, wait. That's what made me argue this. So when you, Which is marketing. Corey, it's they marketing. eyes is lying to him because Nabisco made it lie? <laughs> Are you crazy? Yo, when I see a woman, I don't have to know her. But I didn't say it. Stop yelling at me. Dog, when I see a woman, <laughs> yo, dog, Corey, marketing didn't lie to somebody's eyes. The day you see a chick, you don't have to know she's a star. You, nigga, we send I girls to each other Corey. every day on um, Instagram that we don't know Boris, who the fuck they are. Because he ain't get that. no marketing. <laughs> 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 I don't think it's. I disagree with Corey. I don't think it's marketing with Boris because he ain't get he no ain't marketing. Getting none, and they want to <laughs> fuck that nigga. <laughs> Boris, Frederick, Cecil, that nigga, bony as fuck. That nigga ain't had no muscles. Afuate Kojo. I dog. Yeah, a <laughs> <laughs> Yo, did you, a Nobody knows that. What the fuck? I'm 
about to, but what? now that I'm reading. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Boris Kojo. That's it. No. My ex girlfriend used to be obsessed with that nigga. Hold up. Boris Kojo <laughs> is a German it actor. It wasn't marketing that made her be obsessed. He's a German actor and former model, best known for his roles as Kelby in the 2002 so, I mean, film Brown, Brown Sugar. Sugar. Mm. The sports courier agent, Damon Carter, on the Showtime drama series Soul Food. <laughs> Dr. Will Campbell on CBS's Code Black. <laughs> and a oh, you guys are and, and, oh, up. Wait, and a recurring <laughs> character on Fox's The Last Man on Earth. I want to I want to tell you. <laughs> and you. <laughs> <laughs> to get this nigga the fuck out of here. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yo, and you know what that's like? <laughs> Joe Button. No, right. no, now I gotta hit these niggas with Nah, the, nah, nah. Now Joe I gotta Budden, hit y'all with the No, of course, Hip Hop Smash, Pump It Up, and has several other release projects. Mood Music 3 Trilogy. He's driving around in an old ES300 Lexus, and he's fucking the same girls that all of these NBA niggas is fucking. Four rings. <laughs> <laughs> One. Marketing two, ain't getting no pussy three. for Joe. Joe's mouth got pussy for Joe. Joe's looks got pussy for Joe. Joe's charisma got pussy for Joe. So to, to just, I don't, that's why I don't see how the fuck he's sitting here saying otherwise. Because when you put Joe in a room and you put the NBA niggas in a room that had way more notoriety and way more bread, Joe is still successful. You know what? No, that's not true. Did you say Joe Cujo got away from is them to leave? and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I disagree. <laughs> I disagree. <laughs> I was there. Hold up, now. Hold up. I was there. Hold up now. Corey put mud on my name. Yeah, I was there. <laughs> Corey put mud on my name. It didn't go like that. When niggas was waiting around for them to leave. That ain't never that's happened. That's not true. That's not true. I give a nigga credit where it's due. That nigga ain't have no the, money no, this and is that the, nigga this, was putting up numbers. But this is the problem and issues of uh, example, I think. There's a cap to that. <laughs> true. And that's where the problem comes in. You know what? I don't even know if that's so true. No, nah, it's a cap. I think we put the cap on ourselves. I don't even know if that's true that oh. there's a cap there. Oh, this nigga about to teach me some. Let me. <laughs> no, Joe saying it's a cap. So no, what he's saying basically is that only works at a certain level, and anything above that level, money comes into play. And I don't think that. No, I be- does. I don't think that. If there's a, a, a and I fine can girl it. that is, I like, can prove it. I, yeah, I don't agree with that. I can prove it. You Jennifer Lopez you, was married to fucking uh, the nigga Chris. Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! A week. Corey, we are moving yeah, the goalposts. <laughs> Wait, why? We are moving the goal. She married him, Corey. Then what? And she got rid of that nigga in a month. So what? You fuck I don't give a fuck. So what? She married him, and guess what else happened? She lived with Casper Smart for three or four years. Mm-hmm. Fuck is you talking about? Yeah, she liked them losing nigga. <laughs> <laughs> fuck you talking about? Nigga? The women that got money, money. Oh, yeah. The women that got money, know. money. Don't we need never, your no, money. We never, no, we never saw her with Casper and them again. No, she was with she was with Puff before she does, Casper. She goes up, she goes down, she goes up, she, she goes down, Puff she goes Cas- up, she up goes down. Relative. But oh, look, thank up you, is Melissa. relative. <laughs> no, that's not true. She does with her taste, like in terms of like bank account. No, 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 no. Disagree with. No, wait. What we I'm, keep valuing niggas hello, based on their looks. So much fun in a little Ish, blockbuster what I'm night. To say, no, <laughs> no, I'm not talking. I'm not talking about looks. I'm not talking. About, I'm talking about like money. Money. She True. went from Puff to um, Chris Judd. Judd. Then she left him and then went to Ben Affleck. Ben Affleck. And then after Ben Affleck, who was that? Like no, she went to Mark Anthony. Okay, then Mark Anthony. Sorry. And then after that was Casper. Mm-hmm. But basically, she j- Jennifer Lopez is a mo- is a motherfucker with money, so she didn't give a fuck. She, she doesn't can, care. She can date she can who date she, who she That's wants. What he just said. That's my yeah. point. So That's the goalpost my point. doesn't really exist for a woman like Jennifer Lopez. That is my point. So she gets she to create date her who own turns fucking goal who I like. So there's there is no, no ceiling for the nigga no if cat. she could date whoever. All you got to do is make her want to date you. Yo, make me laugh, put the dick in my stomach, give a good foot massage, and be in... Incur- Yo, dog, you can get him. Joe said it's a cap. And he's saying without money, it's a certain level that you can't breach. And I disagree with that. But Sometimes this- it's the association. You can't get in a room with them motherfuckers. But then you agree with me. No. You agree with me. I don't me believe if that you, they off you limits. You agree with me if you acknowledge that it's hard for you to get. If in the room. there's not a cap, 
Is there? I'm not, hold on. I'm not saying that you can't do that. I don't want. To, like, don't twist me up. The broke nigga could fuck anybody in the world. Okay. I'm never saying that. Gotcha. But the amount of times the broke nigga is going to have the access to that woman. Yes, that's true. Is going to yeah, be very is different from. Agreement. So no, Corey, that night I, or those nights, I've never had to leave the club because the NBA player was there. Or wait for them niggas but to leave. But the next night, they was probably somewhere that I wouldn't be. That's possible. Mm-hmm. And guess what I had, though? Guess what you had? They phone number. So let that nigga go do what he doing. And the next day, when you come back at 12 o'clock, guess who on your phone talking about lunch plans? All right, so then we got to wait. <laughs> you don't have to wait. All right, we got to wait. Man. No, we, no, we no, gotta no. We got to go smoke we, some hookah. You, you motherfucker. Look, go ahead. Yo, <laughs> look, the millionaire nigga got me that night. Yo, this and is hilarious. This is hilarious. This is hilarious. This is hilarious. What's I the time lunch. now? One fifteen. One twelve. I had lunch. <laughs> <laughs> I had lunch. No, he had dinner. I had lunch. No. It's the same shit, bro. I want to talk about that shit. It's put in there. Where's that shit at? Mm-hmm. Yeah, y'all, y'all, are, y'all are insane. Crazy. <laughs> bro, y'all are no, entertaining. Again, yeah, I, I don't want to really. be no hater, yo. Y'all niggas is bugging. I tell me. I, hmm? figured, I figured out who the sniper is. I ain't the sniper. No. <laughs> look, look. <laughs> no. <laughs> now, do this. She know who it is. Do like this. Sister. No, you, you, yeah. I told her. Yeah. Oh, you told oh, yeah. I figured it out. No yeah. point. No okay. tell. Like, nigga. Um, you wanted a piece of that, Boris. That she jump, still do. No, 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 no. That shit jumped out of your soul. I ain't gonna lie to you. Listen, if Flip, you lucky Flip is not here. Oh, if Flip was here, oh my God. Flip would have ate your lunch. Because it's jumping out of your soul. No, listen, let me tell you something, okay? Years ago, I was in Atlanta. I Years ago, I was in a gym in Atlanta. It was like a private gym. <laughs> oh, can <Canada>. oh, <laughs> and me and Boris were being trained by the same trainer, and he just so happens. It just so happens. <laughs> just so happens. Listen, he is a married man, and I am respectful of his situation. But oh, that motherfucker oh, was on the. Uh, he, oh please. He is. Li- oh, look, he is fine. Oh, he is oh, stupid. Wait, hey, but let's slow down. Uh, hold on. Let me ask you a question. Oh, please, I'm, yeah, trying, I'm trying to stay out of it. What? <laughs> because he was a married man, and you were very respectful of his situation. Uh, yeah. So, yeah. Okay. Okay. Now let's play hypothetical. <laughs> you know, if he would have hit you with the yo, what's no, up? No. 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 I don't want those fucking problems. I do not want those problems. Listen, listen, I don't want those fucking problems. That's what I don't want those problems. I, you, you just can't make eye contact. It's more okay? attractive when they hold it down. You just make, can't make eye contact. Okay? It's more attractive he's, when they hold it down. He's there you go. What? There you go. <laughs> Anyways. Exactly. <laughs> But yeah, okay. <laughs> a show. 100%. What? No doubt At least about it. What? No, no, no. No, right there in the gym. I swear to God. No, do not put yeah, that narrative. God? Don't put that narrative which out God? there. Don't do it's it. Mad God. That's not fair. Right, don't, put take, that, don't put that right, narrative out there. Do I did not Never. do that. No. no. no it was a private gym, right? Huh? It was a private gym, right? I mean, there was clients a there. <laughs> Little pool. Handsome man. Is you better get rid of that gun. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you better get the two X T shirt, nigga. Come on, we can do it. Yo, oh, but by the way, man. the sniper couldn't get everybody. So so everybody don't get killed in the war. No, that's true. That is Fuck, very he true. He dropped a lot of bodies. It ain't the he sniper did. job to kill everybody there. No, no, that's that's true. True. He, might, he might even want to shoot everybody. everybody. He couldn't get everybody that he shot at either. So? Oh, that's it. Mel, um, who cares? Who gets everybody that they shoot at? Nobody. You ain't get bored. Wait, wait, wait. wait. I shoot. wasn't shooting, nigga. Then why was you stretching and shit and tight pants around you? Why you couldn't find your own fucking training? I was there first. Why you couldn't find your own fucking training? Yeah, Marissa, I know. Atlanta. I ain't with your the yeah. fuck out of here. I was there no. first. Everybody yeah. don't bat a thousand, man. Okay. All right. Uh, but what did but you, you say? But what did you say about the sniper? What were the words that you used when you were talking about him? How didn't you say like his like shooting rate? It was shooting. What statistic was like a hundred percent? No, I ain't no. say that. What'd you I say? said he's no, no he's not. I ain't even name a percentage. What I'm saying is that nigga has a high probability and a very long hey, track look, record. Hey, look, look, look. Speaking of the sniper, the, the list of dog tags he got. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Like you yeah. know when when it, when you down and they snatch your dog tag. Yeah, 
He got some bodies. He I know. Got some dog yes, yeah, that's all. I know. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's legendary. Uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yo, she's the best, yo. <laughs> she just hated the dog. Yo, what? Like, no, 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 she's no, not she hating. Keeps, she, she's been hating. She's, she's trying to. She start. keeps hating <laughs> and hate at the same time. That's true. Yeah. Pew pew. Pew pew. <laughs> Everybody, I ducked the bullet like I Neo. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm like Neo. Yo, none of that matters. Mm-hmm. A lot of niggas got. Oh, sh- Could have handled them. Hmm. <laughs> See? What? See? What are you talking about? I don't think so. <laughs> no, why? It's different. <laughs> that New York. I'm gonna fight the issue. Nah, that nigga I'm won't a- fare well in New York. Like if you would have went to LA. Oh my gracious. If Joe would have went to LA. Well, see, I give a nigga credit where it's due. I don't do that. Mm-hmm. If you would have lived in LA, your name would be in the rafters. I don't think so. I don't know. I, I you crazy. Cause they don't got them like he like them out there like that, bro. Yes, they do. Like that, I said. L- listen, like, dog, abundance, like they if are you here. can survive in New York, you, you, you can survive, survive anywhere. anywhere. I, I, I agree with that part. If I Joe would have went to LA, I'm talking about what you like, bro. I know niggas that's not even remotely close that are in LA. Niggas who tell me like Yo, shooting fish in a barrel. Yes, you are shooting in the dark. Mm. I've been like that in LA. Huh? I've been like that in LA before. Yeah, like yo, dog. They said this shit is so easy in LA. It's effortless, especially for us. You from New York? Yeah. <laughs> What's up, ma? Niggas better not catch that mail today. You call boy. me ma. <laughs> <laughs> Talk that New York shit, son. Oh man, this, this was so funny. I might have to make this available on, on all tiers. Oh, <laughs> oh, nah. Yeah, That's nah. Crazy. Nah. Nah. Be mad nah. when you do that. I almost had to pin up some little young nigga the other night. It was you? two dudes, yeah. Where at? It's knowledge. <laughs> but oh. the next night, when it wasn't nobody but me and John and the Crips in there. Oh, Bless you know you had back. <laughs> <laughs> you think I'm back by the Crips? <laughs> no, John was with you. And John will walk over my body. <laughs> John was with No, no, you no, 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 he, he wouldn't. Right. John no, OG. I'm joking. No, I'm talking shit. John OG. He said we need to rent that shit out and have our own night. Oh my god. <laughs> now you smart. talking my language. Now you smart. <laughs> now you talking. Now you talking my language. Now you talking my language. Yeah, yeah. That's I like smart, that. Nigga. Anyway, no, the nigga next to me put just that he started just it was my friend birthday here. FaceTime here. Put his FaceTime here. You look yeah. your butter did it. I smacked that shit right out of his hand. See? I hate that shit. See? See you feel me now. You feel me now. Yo, I called you to put in that advance for this week. That's this week. Get back to me. Let me know. Huh? <laughs> yeah. It's full. Yeah. We bike. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Yeah. Splash is back. This guy's a fool, yo. And we back when the dollar hit different in the New York spots, <laughs> too. Uh-oh, now. <laughs> One of these days, I'm going to hit a lick and really go in there and play. Look like I'd have a dry mouth because I ain't got no licks to go in nowhere and play nothing. If you said you going to really go play, your really go play and my really go play is different. That's not true. We gonna have a good you time. on the monkey bars. I'm over here on the slide board. My <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. Nah, they got, some, they got new girls in there that's like appreciative. <laughs> it's, it's rare. <laughs> That's crazy. So, Joe, thank you so much. It's like, oh, my this goodness, $40. thank you. <laughs> oh, shit. That's good. Oh, right. That make you want to throw more, though. Bad. They're appreciative. Oh, Fuck them. Bad man, shit. The 40 do it again? Yeah, nah. I'm with that. In New York? That's unheard of. Yeah. Mel, what you be doing on the weekends? Because you sure enough don't be looking for your co-host. <laughs> like, which is interesting when somebody moves cross country. Like, I be thinking, like, we're going to... Yeah, Mel will call to see where the dope store is or... Yeah. You would go shopping or to chill, call for shit. No. You just chilling. I it's honestly, it's been so cold. It has been it's been cold. You guys gotta understand. I lived in Cali for the Cali eight cold years. and the New York heat is different. No, in I'm just Cali. saying, listen, okay, just let me get my bearings, okay? The sun's out. I'm gonna be calling you guys a lot more since no, we're, we're in the now. 60. I'm lit now. You're <laughs> <laughs> no, no. supposed to call in the winter. So I know it's real. Yeah, now that the summer is here. Well, listen, let me, I might have something cooking for all of us, okay? We've been talking about this group trip for a little while now, and I think I got a beat on some real fucking awesome shit, so. Okay. Oh, well, that would be really, really cool. Yeah. Uh, Before we get out of here, Mm -hmm. I don't know if any of you guys know this, but Kino has been adding parks all weekend 
He had me one time. I saw it. So, yeah. oh, so you running from it? I'm not running from it. I'm saying, did you all answer? We, well, can, is, yeah. can we get a date set? Any fucking time, <laughs> yo. <laughs> Talking shit, big. Any yeah, fucking man. time, Tuh. man. Niggas, Greek engineering, German. It's gonna be next weekend. Sick. I'm telling you, you're gonna be mad. Wait, hold on. Let me check the what kind of thing's supposed to be sixty or something. It's supposed to rain now. Call Kino. Tell him Parks. Tuh. Get both of them to confirm Tuh. something. That's all. That's how you do that. Ain't no back and forth. What we want to do a Saturday? Nigga say he bringing his grill, his own grill. He can Ooh. bring his shit. It's sixty on Sunday with no rain. Sixty all week. No, not all week. Who's Kino? It's sixty Friday. It's forty five Saturday, fifty eight Sunday, forty nine, fifty, forty five, forty three. Oh, Kino. Yeah, Sunday. We can set it up. We'll see. 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 Uh, I don't think I have nothing else that's, that's super important that we need to talk about. I really enjoyed that conversation. That, that, was, I did. that was something wrong with y'all. I, I love never heard two dudes scream about how attractive men are. Yeah, I, never I, seen I, that. I mean, again, I screaming, screaming. I don't mind giving the nigga they credit. Fuck him first. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking lying and nah, talking but, over Mel the whole time. Like, I'm like, yo, like, yo, like, like, yo, 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 no, fuck that, no. <laughs> but I don't like the fact that y'all think Mel should be some type of authority on the topic because she has a vagina. I wasn't if asking her to be an authority fucking, on the topic. Then why are we talking to her about fucking? <laughs> Who she would want to fuck. Oh, but you act like she never fucked. I'm acting like this, the, the game has changed. So let's say hypothetically. It's a different game you, out there you, than it was. You're in a monogamous she, relationship, right? He, he, in 94, he, honey. Let me, let me tell you, you know what? <laughs> you, wanna, you keep trying to motherfucking play me. And I just know. Watch, I mean, just watch. I'm trying to play. Watch, you come watch in here every now, now, in these motherfucking New York streets this summer. Just oh, watch. Please. Oh, please. Okay. Mm. You're going you back in that pergola bathroom. You know what I mean? I see the. Is that me? Nope. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I'm smart. Nope. I didn't hear nothing. Yeah, I ain't hear shit. <laughs> I went to the class. I went to the class. Face. If she wants to do it, whatever she chooses to do in a program of bad form is her business. And I support it. I <laughs> mean, nope. look at you. <laughs> look at the <nigga> face. <laughs> nope. You want to go home? <laughs> Forgive me. Yeah, I mean. Well, I don't have no, I don't have nothing else I need to. Okay, I'm cool. I'm chill. All right, we good. Yeah, if y'all, if y'all have anything, nah. yeah, just take us out of here, man. Cha 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 cha, bye. Nigga, such a bum. <laughs> oh man. Bye, everybody. <laughs> no, Joe Biden.